Hello, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. Let's do. My husband's over there just yelling, but. Welcome to week two of my Wigovi journey that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys. I. Just in general, sharing with you guys. Let's do a little comfy chat, but it's week two of Wigovi. Yesterday we did stuff a little bit differently this time. I injected my thigh instead of my stomach and I found a huge difference in side effects. I don't know if that has anything to do with the side effects, but I did not feel any side effects this time. So I'm extremely, extremely happy about that. Um, week, two, week one was a... A killer with the side effects I was very nauseous I had a migraine um, I threw up like a projectile threw up about three times and it was a lot and that day I just had it was literally Panera bread a healthy sandwich and a tomato soup and I ended up throwing all that all up so I weighed myself today and I've lost six pounds so far so I'm really excited about that um, so we'll continue monitoring you guys but my eating habits have changed also I feel like I'm not craving as many sweets um, I don't crave fatty foods really so my diet has mostly consisted of like replacement shakes chicken rice potatoes like stuff that are like kind of light I've changed like snacking. I've made it a little bit more healthier. Like I've been eating cauliflower chips, stuff like that, that are more, I guess, organic based. So I have been making making modifications. So I feel like that's made a huge difference, and I guess why I'm losing weight so kind of quickly. Maybe half of it was water weight, but I've been drinking a lot of water because I feel like. The whole migraine situation was because I was maybe a little bit dehydrated. But when I'm telling you that I've all I wanted to do those three days was sleep and nothing else, I really mean that because day three, I couldn't even, it was so bad. Day three, I remember it was Saturday, Sunday. Those two days, I would wake up, eat, and literally go back to bed because of how fatigued I was and all I wanted to do was sleep. Day four, it was Monday that I had to go back to work. And during my break, which I never really do at this job, is I was so tired that I went to go take a nap on my car during my lunch break. I didn't even eat. I think I woke up for like the last 10 minutes and chugged the Gatorade and ended up eating back at the office because of how tired I was. So I was just happy that I was okay to go to my interview because I have to like update you guys on that as well. So my interview ended up being like, what was it, Thursday, Friday? So by, I want to say Tuesday, Wednesday, I was feeling back to myself again. So <laughs> I just ended up going to the interview and driving two hours to get there. I had a quote-unquote dental emergency that I had to attend to, so I called out of this job. But I had a request to PTO prior, so I ended up going to the interview. Hopefully none of my, my boss, my boss right now won't see this, but regardless, I'm going to have to get my two weeks soon, so. We end up getting to the interview. I make it there on time. Um, I think we had like an hour to spare, so I went quickly to a nail salon because my nails were looking crusty, dusty, and I did not want to go to that interview with my nails like that. So we stopped at a shop like about 10 minutes from the hospital, did my nails really quick and made it right on time to my interview. I got there and I had to wait about like maybe maybe 40 minutes for my scheduled interview time. But um, my future boss, I'm going to start calling him my boss right now. Um, he was at a meeting, so we weren't able to... Um, he just got like got me from the lobby a little bit late but ended up doing the interview went really well and I'm I'm going to start with them so I'm really excited um did the interview got hired on the spot and I'm super excited and we are really looking forward to moving soon because that's the city that we're going to 
be moving too so the interview was right on time before the big move and I'm really excited because this is something that's going to be a little bit out of my comfort zone um as a new grad I felt like the hospital that I ended up at I don't even consider it like experience because I was only there for a little bit of time so it wasn't a teaching hospital like it wasn't it was just a bad time um one thing that as a new grad if i can give advice to new grads definitely is look for a hospital that's a teaching hospital and that is going to help you and just work with you and hopefully you end up with a great team because Believe it or not, like being in healthcare and in any job in general, your team matters. If you guys don't mesh well, it's gonna suck and it sucks. There's nothing more relaxing and just peaceful and happiness when you get along with your team and that you guys could have each other's back because especially healthcare, it's a career that you need to have each other's back. You cannot be enemies and work together. So just word of advice, look for a facility. So word of advice is definitely you gotta at least get along with everybody. I really did. That wasn't the issue that I had at my this job that I ended up leaving. I think I got along with everybody pretty well. But there's obviously always going to be one person that you're just not going to clash with. And that's okay. It doesn't mean I don't like you. It just means we don't mesh. <laughs> like You know what I'm saying? I'm here to do my job and leave. So... It wasn't that I didn't like anybody, it's just some people, it's just sometimes somebody can make stuff a little bit more difficult than what it has to be, you know what I'm saying? So I took that as an experience, I'm moving on from it. And the thing about us humans, <laughs> the great thing about humans is that we are not trees. If you don't like a place, if you don't like a certain situation, just move move you are not a tree <laughs> so i'm really excited for this opportunity it's gonna be crazy because it's i'm really stepping out of my comfort zone i never thought i would end up at a level two trauma center and i'm just gonna see a lot of chaos and it's okay because i feel like as a new grad i need chaos and i need back-to-back -back emergency situations <laughs> to get me trained and just get with the flow and then you know keep it pushing so that is what's going to be occurring i'm excited for this opportunity I'm, I'm excited just to you know it's a teaching hospital which is ultimately what we want at the end of the day um and i think that's pretty cool so i'm really looking forward to this you guys i'm going to be taking you guys on the journey um, I'm still studying for my CSE, so I will also tell you what helped me. But as of now, respiratory therapy zone made a boot camp, which I'm really excited about because I'm going to be studying from there. So let's see how it goes. I think it reminds me a little bit about, um, I think this boot camp is a little more in depth than respiratory coach, but we'll see. I'm only, I'm just starting it, so I will tell you guys how it goes when I sit for my CSE, but um, yeah, that is what's going on.